Earlier, Manju Mali showed me her take on a traditional baked rice dish, a biryani, a kind of pie. Well, in my eyes, but now it's my turn. I'm going to show you now my interpretation of a baked rice dish. Ooh. And I'm taking my inspiration this time from Russia. And I'm making a kulibak, a pie wrapped in puff pastry and filled with rice, baked salmon and soft-boiled eggs. And I'm going to give it an extra kick by adding some spices. Over here, I've got some onions which are frying away. Now, this is where I'm going to ask for your help. I want to put some spices in that mm. to give it a little bit of a kick and I just want to sort of grind down. What would you advise I use? Well, you're using, as I can see, parsley and dill. Yep. Um, so you don't want to mess up the flavours too much. So I'd uh, use some uh, basic spice, such okay. as cumin seeds and a bit of coriander. I'll give you your toy. OK. <laughs> so what are you going to throw in there well, first? What I'm going to add is a bit of cumin, mm -hmm. a touch of coriander. Yep. Now, what you could do is toast them on a dry pan yep. and then grind them up. OK. But uh, you can do this, it's fine. Well, if that's just ground down, I'm going to chuck it in with the onions. Yeah. So I'll just yeah, fry that fine. out slightly. Yeah. OK. Now, is that, is that being ground down? Uh, not totally. Don't you want sort of bits of uh, spice? I don't mind okay. if it's got little, little chunky bits oh, in okay. there. OK, you, you know. want chunky bits? No, 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 I quite like that. All right, here you go. Here's Lovely. some parsley ground, yeah? Lovely. Happy? That, that's perfect. OK. Now, I'll throw that straight in. <laughs> OK, so I've got the onions in there with the spices that Manju's carefully selected, into which I'm going to add some mushrooms. Now, the mushrooms are in there. It's going to release a little bit of water in there as well. Now, all I'm going to do is build up the basic rice dish. On top of that, I'm going to put some salmon, on top of that, an egg, and then encrust the whole thing in puff pastry. Now, that would take a couple of minutes. I'll turn the heat down a little bit. And the rice is completely cooked? Yes, and the rice is completely cooked. What I'm going to do is just mix it with the mushrooms, the onions, a little bit of zest of lemon. Now, that's going to go inside there with the mushrooms now. That will do. Is this like a salmon en croute? Type dish. Well, that's all a pie is, really. I always think of a pie as being a, a dish that basically is whatever you're cooking wrapped up in a shell and then everything is in there and it's keeping nice and moist. Now, if I just turn that heat off now... It's really quick. So, once you've got that in there, a little bit of seasoning... ..and then leave that to cool. It takes about a good half an hour because you can't use the hot mixture going on top of the pastry, cos the whole point, when you're making a pie, you've got to keep your pub pastry nice and cold. That's how you get the laminations in there, that's how you get the steam, and that's why it jumps. Tip the rice mixture into a bowl. Now I'm adding some roughly chopped parsley and dill, but you could use coriander or any of your favourite herbs. Lead to cool before wrapping in puff pastry. I've made mine, but shopboard will work too. So this is the base of the coolie back. I'm just going to stretch slightly. And over there, could you pass me that dish, please? Over here, I have my cool rice. Yes. So I'm going to get my hands in there. I don't. You can use implements if you want. I like to get my hands in there because I need to shape this. Well, you've washed them, so it's all right. I have. <laughs> so again, run this down the middle. Keep so it the nice filling and is completely cold? Yes, the filling is completely... If I was to put warm rice on this, the whole thing about the puff pastry would melt and you wouldn't get that rise. And so the whole idea at this stage is to keep everything as cool as possible. So, again, make it nice and neat so you've got a channel running down, right down the middle. Take it close to the end and then square it off like so. That's a good level of rice. The next thing we're going to add to this dish is the salmon. Obviously cooked, and you want to break the pieces off and lay them neatly across the top. Try not to get any down the side. I want to try and build up some layers in this. Finally, top with sliced boiled eggs. Make sure it's nice and neat. And over here, I've got just basically a beaten egg. Now, this is going to be the sealant for the top. So brush it all around the edge. Get your lid. Pop that onto the top. And then push it right the way down onto the tray. Be quite firm with it. It's like a blanket, really. And so what I'm going to do is just trim this down a little bit, neaten it up all the way around. 
I like to then give it a little bit of decoration around the outside. Basically, two fingers and your thumb go round and seal it all off and make it look a bit more attractive. Finally, egg wash on the top. Now, what I tend to do is well, you can, what, what I call double egg washing. So what you can do with this is then pop this in the fridge, leave it for about half an hour for the eggs to set, re-egg wash it, and then, using a, the back of a blade, the blunt bit, you just run your knife over the top, and that makes little indentations in the egg, which gives it a nice pattern when it comes out the oven. Now, that needs to be baked for about 25 minutes at 180 in the oven. Now, this will go beautiful golden brown. Leave it in there. It will all puff up and look absolutely gorgeous. So this one I'm going to pop in the fridge just to chill it down and it'll be ready to go in the oven. However, I have one in the oven. Ready just for you. Thank you. All for me. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. There you have it. Look how flaky it is. It's even flaking off as we speak. That is my version of a baked rice dish, the coolie back. My coolie back is best served with roasted onions, carrots and parsnips, or simply as a supper on its own with a sour cream dill sauce. Mm -hmm.